Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today's vlog is an Amazon haul. So this is pretty much everything I have gotten. Actually, there's a few more things I want to order, but the stuff that has come, this is it. All right, so if you haven't catched my vlogs a couple weeks, a couple days ago, you found out that I am going to go to Utah for my birthday. So exciting. And I've been talking to a lot of YouTubers and getting so many ideas and I am super excited. Jazzy has brought me her ball. So I'm gonna throw it for her real quick. As you heard, she jumped into her ball pit. Belle's a little jealous because she does not like the floor. And unfortunately, well, she'll play that hard. She'll play later in my parents' master bedroom. That is where they enjoy playing on the carpet. That's the only part of our house that has carpet. So. Ooh, talking about carpet. Okay. So anyhow, here is what I got from Amazon this haul. So since my mom is still high risk, I went ahead and got the K9 95 face mask. <coughs> Belle, mommy saw it. Mommy saw it. So I got that. They're going to wait a second because they're barking at me for a reason, guys. So... That was some. I got them in black so that if like she spilled something, she didn't feel like it or she got her lipstick on it. Where are you, Bill? So, that is what I got there. This little guy, for those who are into essential oils, such as a lot of my followers, because I know a lot of you guys are young living. Let me bring this a little bit closer for you guys. So, this was 15 bucks, and I wanted something because we're not getting a minivan this time around. We're just getting a regular, um, a premium car. But I wanted something to clean the air, and I want to leave my little travel purifier that I have. Uh, pur yeah, purifier. Wow, guys, I was drawing a blank there. Um, back in the room so it can continue cleaning the air, so that she can take her mask off in the room at least. So. This is for the car, but I still wanted something not to take up a cigarette lighter where we couldn't charge our phones. So this little guy is what I got. So this bends to wherever way you want him to sit. This little part comes off. There's a little filter here. And they actually give you an extra one. You can also buy extras, but I didn't because I only want to run one oil. You put your oil, your water, and then you just screw it back on. There's a little on button here. Plus, that's what sold me. Two USB ports, right there. So, very excited for that, that I get to have something work, that it will work perfectly. Also bends nicely, so you can store it in your uh, travel bags, so. Puppies are probably not going to be too happy after this vlog because they're going to probably catch on. Not like my dad hasn't been talking about it, but my dad will be with them, so they'll be fine. Right? So that's that. So that's the diffuser. So I know it's supposed to be pretty windy when we go. For most of you know, I usually wear long skirts, long shirts. I have not worn one of my dresses, oh gosh guys, probably before COVID, just because I don't like being exposed. Um, but I found these on Amazon, I'll link everything below. But these are yoga pants, which really honestly guys, I was looking for leggings, they say they're leggings, but let me tell you, these things are so freaking silk, silky. I mean, I don't want to curse about it guys, because I really don't like cursing. But they're so nice. You might need to have like a cloth because they're cloth. I do have to get some, make some kind of static spray so that they don't stick to the dress as much. But they are very comfortable. So comfortable, I ordered another pair. This set, they come in threes, by the way, guys. So this set came with black, gray, and like a mauve color. Almost like the same color as the nail polish for my mom that I got her. 
So that was, I think, 20 bucks. But not a bad deal, guys, for three pairs. And they're so comfortable, it feels like you have nothing on. So, okay. For the big ticket item that's in here, my dad got me this. Actually, my dad did. So, it came with straps. And I'll tell you why it came with straps in a second, but I'm just showing you the straps I could put back in this basket in a second. It also came with a rain cover. So you can cover the bag so it's waterproof. Especially in Utah, you never know what the weather's gonna be like in 10 minutes from now. So, not that I've ex actually experienced it, but from other YouTubers and their vlogs, you could definitely tell when I went, I had perfect weather, so. Okay, so this is the Actually, I don't even know what name brand this is, actually, guys, because honestly, uh, and Durex. Probably the best backpack I have ever found on the market. So, I am going to show you my review on this. In the front here, you have straps. If you have a um, drone, you can put it in the front. In here, this is something I really do like, guys. And I don't know how well you guys have seen this just because of how black this bag is. So I'm gonna take the lid off and I'm gonna make this light a little bit brighter so you guys could see. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it just a tad bit closer for you guys to see it and bring the camera down. There we go. Okay, bear with me. All right, so what I liked about this was I don't like it when I have wands or sticks for the GoPro that will make it that it can't move so this one actually extends right here at the top and then there's a secondary zipper here so in here you could put look lo very comfortable you could put um, an iPad and your folds in here um, or your stabilizer there is so much room, guys. I don't know how well this camera is showing you, the GoPro is showing you, but a lot can fit in here. I was very impressed with that. Me, I think I what I really like is the fact that I could zip it here, but if I really wanted to try and really close it up, even for like extra security wise, even if I don't have a lot in there, I can definitely double zip it. And now I can't find the zipper on this side because I'm short. <laughs> Okay, I'm not that, I'm, I am short, I'm 5'1". That's what it says on my license, so I'm not lying. So, that's the first good part about that bag. This part here is so that you can actually have some battery uh, SD cards here, and you can put the batteries down here in the zipper. And then, remember the straps I told you about, is that you can pull this out, And you have a little pouch. And actually, I just realized I had it backwards. But you could design it to put whatever you want. Batteries, SD cards. This bag I'm going to use for my GoPro so that it's just easy to grab. So like if I'm just doing GoPro-wise, I know where it is. No problem. So, And all you do is slide it back in. I'm not even sure, guys, which way to keep sliding it. I've tried to it both ways. But I think when the backpack has no weight and the bag has no weight, it's just a little bit harder, but it'll be fine once I get weighed into it. Second here is your door for your actual camera. So you can tell that they even outlined it already for your camera inside. There is an RFID protector here in the spout. Excuse me, I'm talking, mommy's talking, just so you guys can see. In there, so that's a really good thing. Now you're wondering, strap wise. This is probably my best, where do you put this in? There we go, strap wise. So you can adjust the straps from up here to adjust from the bag itself. I haven't played around with it too much. Um, you also have a belt here to go across your chest. You also have adjustable straps to the bottom. Plus, this is what also sold me on this bag, was that you could stick your suitcase handle right here. 
I don't know how well you guys can see it. So this strap here. There. And that's what told me a lot because when I go through the airport, I have not only my two bags, but I also have my mom's carry-on bags that I have to carry. So, makes it very helpful. This side of the bag, you have your strap and your strap holder. You can use a cup holder or you could do a tripod. During the airport, it'll probably be, once I get through security, a bottle of water um, or soda just for some sugar. Um, and so my mom gets a little bit of low sugar on the airplanes for some reason. Sorry about the puppies barking in the background, but I think they also want to be part of the camera. So, and I like this extra strap. That's another thing that's sold me because usually some of them, all it is is just like a strap piece right here, not up higher. So that was another thing that sold me on here. And then the final compartment, guys, which is, you're probably wondering, where are you going to put your laptop? On this one, it opens up like a book. So, voila. So this is the where your camera would be. This is, of course, where I just showed you the GoPros will be in this bag. You can also make sure these straps with this tray here is very secure so that, you know, your weight is very um, leveled. You can put all your lenses or whatever you want to put in here. And then, right here, you could put your laptop. So, that's what sold me on this bag. I probably went through close to, oh guys, probably about 300 bags. I watched a bunch of YouTubers, asked a bunch of YouTubers. Um, I was very close on getting the same similar one that um, Brandon Bingham had, but I don't know guys, for some reason, just wasn't quite sure about it, but this one seemed to fit my personality now. I'm, like I said, 5'1", and sits, but if I had pulled it to adjust, let's see. So now I'm going to do this for you guys on the camera, real quick. So if I do that, like that, I would say that's about comfortable. Hold on. Okay, so I would say that's about comfortable there, and that strap is comfortable there. Remember, I'm short, so. But it comes to right about my waist, and it comes right to the back of, right underneath my neck. So it's not that bad. And I have this strap going across, so. It does, for me, go into my neck a little bit, but honestly, I'd rather it be portioned to my neck like that than to not let me feel secure. I'd rather feel like it's pulling, and I could probably adjust the straps to not put, pull into my neck as much, but when you start moving like such as, I'll have my other suit, my little suitcase, that makes it a little bit like if you're bending over or what, at least I know it's secured no matter which way I go. And I can feel it. I like to feel my bags because if I don't feel my bags, then I feel like it's not on me or something's wrong. So, but yeah. So that is so far how I feel about this bag. I really do love it. I will give it probably a five star. The only other thing that I do realize now is that my uh, wire compartment, you know, like battery chargers and stuff, but. I believe I have figured that out as well because I think in here, if I get one of those flat bags, I can put chargers or I can use one of my other bags and just put it down at the bottom on that second compartment where I put the iPad. So, not actually a bad idea. See, I think better sometimes when I'm on camera. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna put this down real quick and then I'll bring the puppies up so they can say hello to you guys. Who wants to say hello on camera? Jasmine or Belle? Who wants to come say hi? Come here. Oh, wow. Belle was here first, so come on, Belle. Okay, stand right here. Can you say, look, look, look at the camera. Can you say hi to everybody? Hey, where's everybody? Look at everybody on the camera, say hi. Say hi. I let my mommy talk, so this is my reward, but now I want to smell everything. So, yeah, let's bring the camera closer since we did all that. And let's bring you guys up. I do like this microphone. It is a little sensitivity to like a fan. So hopefully you guys could hear me well today. Say hi. Here, hold on. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. That probably did not help your eyes. <gasps> now, 
Say hi, everybody. Say hi. See, I just want my grandma. My grandma's outside cooking again. So I have to be in here away from her. But I will go check on her. All right? Where's Jazzy? Where's Jazzy? Where's Jazzy? There she is. Here. Oh, that was a good jump. Jazzy, say hi to everybody. Can you say hi? That is literally her, guys. Hi. Say hi. Hey, what are you doing? We're not done talking to them. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> so these are my babies. I love them. But sometimes mommies need a little reset. So, anyhow. Oops. I am so sorry, princess. I'm so sorry. Yes, I am wearing my Minnie Mouse pajama bottoms today, guys. That's what the red shirt is to go with. Yes. You'll see why she's barking in a second. But, yeah, I had one of my cold spells again last night. Right around 8 o'clock. And it was so bad that it made me lose my... T my t I didn't want anything to eat. Um, but that's normal. It's not COVID. I promise that. It's just... Wow, they did that at the same time. No, it's just how my body was after some poisoning. So, but that also did happen this morning. So, Jazzy, you gonna show everybody real quick? Cause I know that's what you wanna do. You wanna show everybody how you jump in the ball pit? Okay. I think they've seen you jump in the ball pit before, but if you wanna let them see how you jump in. Sorry for the yipping, guys. You ready? Okay, ready? Show them how you get out. Jump. Jump. Come on. You can do it. That wasn't a good one. Can I have the ball? Okay. You ready? Ah, ah. Go right by the microphone. Ah, ah. Now don't worry guys, there is cushion underneath there. My mom puts she put styrofoam underneath. Um like cushion. Oh. You gonna pull her out? Wow, guys, this is a rare occasion. She must have seen the camera on. Bill, can we have the ball, please? They don't have all day. Jazzy, can I have the ball? Thank you. Yeah, they love this ball, but we actually had a baby version. <laughs> and they would run so fast that they would go in the ball pit, out the ball pit, all in one shot. So, Jazlyn. Jay, let's go. Come on. Good. Oh boy. Yeah, Jasmine loves doing that. I'm gonna move this camera up a tad. Let's see if I get her to do it. Good girl. Have it? Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the camera. Mommy's fault. Back up. Back up. She loves hitting it like a little seal. Sometimes she'll hit it right back toward me. Come on. Jazlyn, let's go. Ball, please. Ball, please. You done playing? Okay, guys. I guess that's a wrap. I gotta go finish vacuuming. Oh, boy. Okay. Sorry, guys. I will talk to you in a little bit. Hey guys, so right now I am finishing up the puppy stew. Who's ready for your dinner? Okay, I'm gonna chop it up. 
Who's gonna be a good girl eating their dinner tonight? Everybody wants to see you guys eat your food like good little girls. Yeah. You want some pears with that? Food for you, and food for you, and then I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. So that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed watching the girls eat their dinner. And I will see you all next time. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, that notification bell. Don't forget to go over to my friends, Our Life in Holland. Hit the subscribe button. They are still sitting at that 1100 mark. And I will see you all next time. See ya!